If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to another Team of the Week predictions. Team of the Week 19. A couple of uh, juicy players to talk about. Three from one club. And uh, a couple of headliner cards to mention as well. Up first, we have our... Uh, our silver, which happens to be in nearly every single team of the week. Og, I'm going to mispronounce this. Ogbeen, Ogbene, uh, one goal, two assists in a 3-0 win. Of course, the lowest rated card. Moving on to uh, Mohamedy. All these are in order of rating. So as you can see, we've already skipped the 75, 6, 7. We're into the 78s. This guy has got himself one goal and one assist in a 3-0 win. Chances are I've got a couple of these wrong and they will be some lower rated cards, but um, we can hope. Boga or Boga up next with a one goal and one assist in a 2-1 win for Sassuolo. Uh, that actually uh, cost me a lot of money, actually, the, um, the win. Uh, had they not won and Berardi hadn't got on the team sheet, then I would have been laughing. Uh, Budimir up next with two goals and one assist in a 4-1 win for Mallorca. Not many people expected Mallorca to win, uh, but by four goals to one. So I would imagine they would be an inform from that game. The striker, not looking great, but still. Uh, moving on to Soloth with a hat-trick in a 6-0 win. This is the second week in a row, I believe, that he's featured in Team of the Week. Could it be his week? With a hat-trick, you would find it very difficult to deny him, but EA don't like that league that much. So... Yeah, Lolly up next, and again another league that EA are not that bothered about. Two goals and a man of the match performance in Nottingham Forest's 3-1 win. Nottingham Forest playing very well this season compared to the previous, well, dare I say four or five. Either way, they're looking good. Fernandez up next, two goals and a man of the match award in a 5-1 win. Again, this doesn't look like a great card. It's very well rounded to be fair, but uh, it's a stepping stone to another card. And again, EA, not a fan of that league in particular. Let's move on to... Oh, dear. Uh, Matavs? Matav? I'm not sure. Two goals in a 3-1 win. The problem we have here is there are quite a few candidates from the Dutch league, and EA only tend to pick one. Uh, up next, we have Jorgensen, again from the Dutch league. Two goals in a 3-1 win for Feyenoord. The sad thing about this is that him and um, the, the previous player, Matavs, have done exactly the same thing. EA will go for Jorgensen because he plays for a quote-unquote bigger club, which is stupid. Hayden up next with one goal for Newcastle. I believe they beat Chelsea, didn't they? Um, banger it was too. Not the best of cards. I've, I've massively increased the, the passing there. I, I, to be fair, I'd be surprised if his passing is above 70, but I've, I've tried to be as generous as possible. Let's move on and over to the Bundesliga. Cordoba. For two, with two goals, rather, uh, for Cologne. Now, last year, I believe, was it last year or the year before, this guy had a, a bit of a monster card. Very, very uh, strong player with pace to boot as well. So it would be nice to see it, but don't know if it's uh, quite enough. Cabrera up next. Now, this guy should have done enough for Getafe. He's got himself one goal and a clean sheet in a 3-0 win. And the reason why that should be enough is because centre-backs, of course, if they score a goal and keep a clean sheet, Chances are they're, they're a shoe-in. Not many defenders, actually, this week, thinking about it. Um, Grigoric, not quite sure if this is enough either, to be fair, but it's worth a mention. One goal and one assist in a 2-0 win. There is a, there, there are a few players I could mention, actually, uh, from the Bundesliga midfield area that I've, I've not done. We'll talk about those at the end. Rebic with two goals in a 3-2 win for Milan. I believe he came on as a sub as well, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but... I think he's got a footmas card already this year, so I wouldn't be surprised if EA just left him out because there are other strikers who are doing a little bit more or the same. Rafa of Benfica. Uh, now this one, two goals off the bench in a 2-0 win. This one could be one that EA easily just leave out. Uh, the problem is, is it was a, a very big game over there, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him feature. Horn. Up next, uh, our first goalkeeper. We do have two. Eight saves for Cologne. The problem with this, of course, is there are two Cologne players, Cordoba and Horn. And I wouldn't be surprised if they left Cordoba out because there are quite a few strikers. Uh, no more so than our next man. Now, this guy, wow. Uh, we are going to talk about Holland, of course. Now, I've got him down as an 84 rated here. However, bear with me. Um, this is essentially his UCL, um, was it team of the group stage card? 
I'm not sure if they're going to go one higher. If they do, he'll be at 86 rated. Now, of course, he scored a hat-trick off the bench in about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. It was stupid. They were losing 3-1, I think. He came on, and within 10, 15 minutes, they'd won the game 4-3. It was an absolute madness. Uh, but um, expect a haul and in form, whatever the rating. Let's move on to Voland. And again, one of those players who was featured in several Team of the Week predictions. Probably deserves to be 84-86 rated by now. But he always gets overlooked. He's got two goals and a Man of the Match award and a 4-1 win for Bayer Leverkusen. And again, I can see him being overlooked this week, unfortunately, again. Pope, our, our next goalkeeper. I don't know why he's 83 rated and all the way up here. Uh, he's made a penalty save. And seven saves beside that. And of course, Burnley beat Leicester 2-1. Big game for them. Big defeat for Leicester. And uh, could be a big inform for Pope. Jimenez of Wolves up next. Two goals, one of which was a penalty. And Wolves, of course, coming away with a 3-2 win. I believe it was away against Southampton. Of course, they um, they play Liverpool next. And as a Liverpool fan, I'm a little bit a little bit, a little bit nervous. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Let's uh, let's move on, shall we? Theo Hernandez, probably one of the best left-backs in the world right now. And I, I don't say that lightly because, of course, I just said I'm a Liverpool fan. Uh, one goal in a 3-2 win. Now, because Rebic has a footmas card, and because there are a lot of strikers in contention, Theo Hernandez has a big chance. Let's move on to Visca, back over to the Turkish League. One goal and one assist in a 4-1 win. Uh, I believe, for the uh, the league champions. Looks like a decent card. Visca's always got a good card, though, to be fair to him. Let's uh, talk about a headliner, shall we? Now, this guy is... I don't know. Th this is a dodgy one for me because I can't see it happening because I would say all he did, right? He got two assists in a 3-2 win for Wolves. I would not be surprised to see Jimenez there. I would be surprised if they put Traore in there. If they do it, they've only done it to make you want to do the SBC. If they don't do it, I'm not going to argue with it at all because two assists is a little bit... Mm. Perisic for Bayern Munich up next with one goal and one assist and a man of the match award in a 4-0 win. I don't think there are any other... Now, there's one other candidate from Bayern Munich uh, who could potentially get it, but you know, Perisic, he's, I don't know, maybe... Maybe. Uh, Van der Beek. I don't think this guy's going to get it. Uh, one goal and a 2-1 win. But it was definitely worth a mention because there's a lot of hype around him in terms of transfers, signing for a Premier League club. Wouldn't surprise me if EA tried to cash in on that if they know anything about it. I'm not even sure if they know anything about football, but there we are. Uh, Canales with a one goal and one assist for Real Betis. This, in my opinion, looks like a decent card, and I would not be surprised to see this at all. I think he got a team of the season last year, of course. If he got a team of the season this year bit far-fetched, but you never know. Um, I, I don't know, actually. I think it might be a, an alright card. Uh, Timo Werner's just been given a Player of the Month card, so in my opinion, there is no way they will give him this in form, but it's definitely worth a mention. Two goals in a 3-1 win for Leipzig. The other player that um, could feature for Leipzig is Sabitza. Now, I've not actually put him down. I believe he popped up with a goal in that game as well, so just bear that in mind. Going over to Spain, Real Madrid with Casemiro. Two goals in a 2-1 win for Real Madrid. Uh, I think it briefly put them back on top until Barca won their game and now they're back on top. Correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't look like a, an 88 rated card if you look at the face stats, but the in-game stats tell a little bit of a different story. Thiago, in my opinion, is the player from Bayern Munich who will get the inform. One goal in a 4-0 win. Of course, I did mention Perisic. The reason I don't think Perisic is going to get it is because he has that storyline. People will be more inclined to go and get this Thiago card because he doesn't have a special item. Let's go and talk about Lazio, shall we? They are arguably the team in form in Italy right now. Absolutely relentless. And a hat-trick for Immobile in a 5-1 win over Sampdoria. Two penalties, to be fair, so I don't know. But um, there are a couple of other candidates from there. Uh, Lucas Leva could get one. Uh, I think, um, I can't remember who it was who got the assists. But either way, just look out for a Lazio player. Busquets with a Man of the Match award. That's all he did. Literally all he did. But he's ridiculously high rated. Again, doesn't look like a card that is 90 rated. But I think EA will try and shift some packs with some high rated cards this week. Let's talk about Liverpool, shall we? It's the... Uh, the giant, the elephant in the room. Uh, three players to talk about here. Allison being the first. I mean, could easily get it. He made, uh, he got one assist and kept a clean sheet against Manchester United, of course. And it was that sort of 
quote unquote iconic moment. If you're not a Liverpool fan, it's not iconic, but I'm sure you'll be seeing that around the world for days and weeks to come. Van Dijk is the other player to talk about. Of course, he scored the opening goal. He also, technically speaking, kept a clean sheet and he was given the Man of the Match award. So I can definitely see a Van Dijk in form. Problem with this, of course, is that he has a team of the year and he has countless in forms already. So will EA go for Allison, who, okay, has a team of the year but doesn't have any informs, or will they go for the headliner that is Mo Salah? He got the, the I would say the winning goal. They'd already won the game by that point, but, well, not really, but yeah, kind of. He got the icing on the cake then, should we say. Uh, and, of course, he does have a headliner, so it would kind of make sense if they gave him the the inform as well. So, I don't know, there's a... There's a lot of questions. A Liverpool player will get it. It's one of those three. It's just a case of which one. And finally, it wouldn't be a Team of the Week predictions without mentioning Ronaldo or Messi. Today, it's Ronaldo's turn. He is back to form. Two goals and a Man of the Match award for Juventus in a 2-1 win. And he would be a striker as well. Uh, he's running out of cards, actually. So, I would be... I, I don't know. I'm not going to moan too much. I probably will moan. But I won't moan too much if... He doesn't get the inform, and I can understand why they wouldn't give him the inform, but on the other hand, I can definitely see him being in Team of the Week as well. So it's just one of those. So there is a lot of potential for headliners, there's a lot of potential for some high-rated cards, and there's a lot of potential for some controversial decisions from EA as well. That's going to do it for this week's Team of the Week predictions, though. If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.